How was Asiya married to Pharaoh when she was a believer and he was a non-Muslim? Now this question deals with whether the law and Sharia of those before us apply to us or not, and whether our law and Sharia applies apply to them or not. And the most authentic opinion is that each religion has its own laws. So the question to begin with is beyond comprehension because Pharaoh is a Kafir. And Asya at the time was a disbeliever. She did not have a religion. And she believed in Pharaoh to be a god maybe or whatever. Until Musa came, peace be upon him, and she became a Muslim. First of all. Second of all, if you look at the laws of religions before us, you would find that there are things that were permitted in their religion and abrogated in ours, and now it is not uh, uh, valid anymore in our religion, though it was part of previous religions. For example, in the religion of Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him, he used to have control over the jinn. We can't. He used to have the jinn create and make statues of living creatures, which is prohibited in our religion. In the religion of Yusuf, peace be upon him, it was permissible to prostrate when greeting people of authority, which the siblings of Yusuf did when they came to greet him, when they visited him after repentance. So such things indicate that what was fine in their religion can be abrogated and changed. But what counts is the final sharia, the final law of Allah, which is Islam 